object properties. Every time we create an object, that object has properties given to it. The properties can come from the layers here, going to the layer properties manager. They can be set here as the object is created onto a layer. I'll go ahead and close this for now. Properties can be given here through the properties panel under the home tab. These are very similar to the properties in the properties layer manager, such as the color, the line weight, the line type, and so forth, as well as additional properties. Let's take a look at them. I'll go ahead and create a circle, a rectangle, and then I'll create a line. Now these are three different objects. Again, if I select one, and if I look at its properties, they're all set to by layer. That means they'll grab their properties from the layer them itself. I'll select the circle. Again, look at the properties. And again, it has its property set to by layer. I'll go ahead and deselect that. I'll select this rectangle and I'll hit control one for my key commands. Now this object here is a polyline. Here are some general properties for it. And something that the property manager doesn't have are these properties down here. So this properties gives it a little more details that we can see. We can look at some of these as we go down, such as the vertex, X vertex, Y. We also have an elevation of the object. And we are also given an area and a length for the object itself. I'll go ahead and hit escape. X is out of that. Select the circle. And once again, I'll press control one to look at the properties. I'll pan over to the side just to see the circle. And again, this time we have a radius, a diameter, circumference, and an area. We can always come in here and try and change some of these properties. I'll put 20 and enter. And we have adjusted our circle to the properties that we set for it. I hit escape, come over here and look at this line, select it. I still have the properties panel open here on the side come down and as you can see this one doesn't have an area but it does have a length now this one I can't exactly go in there and adjust the length that's because AutoCAD won't exactly know which side to extend it will it extend all the additional or lesser length on the right side the left side or evenly distribute it across the middle so if you ever want to change the length of a line you'll have to go ahead and adjust it using some modifications but a circle for example you can come in here and change the area, the circumference, the diameter, or the radius itself. And the object will reflect the changes.